Medicine is taking a big step forward in the fight against cancer. The FDA recently approved a new and potentially game-changing therapy to treat the disease. And it helped give a little girl another chance at life. Meg Terrell has part one of our Modern Medicine series. Bald one is Caitlin. Oh. She's not wearing any clothes because she was in the bath. You'd never guess meeting Caitlin Johnson what this spunky seven-year-old has been through. I was like, so does my daughter have cancer? And she was like, has nobody told you yet? Yes, she does. Diagnosed with leukemia at 18 months, two and a half years of punishing chemotherapy. For most kids, that regimen works. Caitlin was one of the unlucky few whose cancer came back. Her parents, James and Mandy, geared up for another round of treatment. I said, so whatever she wants to do this weekend, we're going to do it because she's not going to be able to go back outside. She's not going to be able to play with her friends. We were going to return back to our old normal. Another month of chemotherapy failed her too. So Caitlin's doctors suggested a clinical trial of a new way to treat cancer called CAR T for chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy. The treatment uses a patient's own immune cells as medicine. And we know that cancer can learn to evade the normal immune system. The Johnsons were concerned about the unknowns of an experimental treatment, but were encouraged by earlier success stories. We were ready to throw that Hail Mary pass for for treatment because we had no other options. In CAR T therapy, patients' T cells are removed from the body, then a virus is used to deliver a genetic modification, providing these immune system hunters with a homing device for markers on cancer cells. They're then given back to the patient. This is in that way a living therapy because the growth of these T cells in the patient will allow these serial killers to take out um, millions of cancer cells. The Johnsons were warned the side effects could be severe. Among the most serious is cytokine release syndrome, resulting from overactivation of the immune system. It can cause high fevers and even organ failure. The researchers have found ways to tamp it down with other medicines. We were aware of the side effects. We were aware that, you know, once we start this process, there's no real turning back. Just weeks after Caitlin received her modified T cells, James and Mandy got a late night call from Caitlin's doctor. They assumed it was bad news. She says there's no detectable signs of cancer. Yeah. And I think we just cried. Within six months, our, our pendulum had swung from we're going to lose our child, potentially, to we beat cancer. Three years later, Caitlin's still cancer free. The medicine she helped test was approved by the FDA on August 30th. It's marketed by Novartis under the name Kim Raya. For the Johnsons, it was a joyful moment. Very breathtaking for me, just, you know, thinking, wow, we are a part of this, you know, to help hundreds, thousands of other kids. You know, and I'm always thinking, I almost chose not to do this. More work is underway to extend car reach to more patients who, like Caitlin, had tried everything medicine already had to offer. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.